Shed engineering, but not as you know it. What's the cubic capacity of your cylinder? And an experiment to see if the beam engine will run on a hairdryer. Hello there, Alan Plum here again with a little more from Shed Engineering. Someone has just asked what is the cubic capacity of your cylinder? Well I'm quite happy to answer any kind of question but this is Shed Engineering and not the Open University and it's many many years since I was at school but I did try and work it out. I just don't understand it. Why do people ask such complicated questions? I'm not a scientist. Where's my pen? Well, I'm not a scientist. I'm not a mathematician. I'm just an average bloke in an average shed doing an average model. How do you mean what's your cubic capacity of your cylinder? I don't know. What do we get to? That was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 6, 22, 23, 24, 25, 66, 67, 68, that bit and that bit, 68, 69, that bit and that bit, 69, 70, that bit and that bit, 71, that bit and that bit, 73, no, 71. Oh, for, was that 71 or 72? 72, call that and that, 73. Oh, for... It was something to do with square pi. Pi r squared or something. Oh, for flipping heck's sake. If only I had some square pi. Ah. 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 We can, we can have square pi. All right, so it's, so it's pi r, pi r squared, my lord, pi r squared. So we need, we need uh, radius, which is five, five centimetres because it's hundred mil diameter so it's hundred mil hundred mil diameter yeah so the radius is five five centimetres that's right five centimetres so it's five centimetres is that squared Five centimetres squared. Five centimetres squared. So what would that be? Uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. What about twenty-five? About twenty-five. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That's twenty-five. So it's twenty-five times times what? times pi? No, no it's the height. Times it by the height you silly son. That's, da, 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 that's 200. 200? No that's millimetres so it's 200. Working in centimetres that's 20. So that 25 times 20 pies. Oh no that would be too fat. Uh, 25 times 20 is 500. Looking at we don't want 500 pi. We don't want 500 pies. Flipping neck. Can't have 500 pies. We only want a bit of pie. What was it? I remember at school it was something silly. It was something silly. We're only a little bit of pie. Something like that. What was it? Three. Three point something. Three point something pie. Oh no, that's far too much. 
Nice pie. Nice pie. Nice pie. Mmm. Yum. Yum, yum, yum. Nice pie. Nice pie. Mmm. So we've got... Mmm. We've got 500 times pi r, which is the radius, squared. So we've got squared pi. So that's 500 times, what was it? Call it 3. What's that? 3. Uh, three point what? That's about there. Three point. Well, I don't know. Three point one and a bit. Call it three point one and a bit. So it's uh, it's on, and it's what is it? Five hundred. Five hundred times three and a bit pies equals 1,570 1,570 cubic centimetres cubic cent... is that right? I don't know have I done it? you're a mathematician plumber hmm we've got, we've got too much pie We'll have to eat some more. Mm. Right. So now we know. Now we know that we've got 1,570 cubic centimetres in our capacity. Well, that's heck of a capacity. Right, what are we up to now? Well, I've disconnected the um, the valve from the uh, back side of the engine and I've got the valve mounted here now I normally open it to there that's just the loose bit on the, the thread and then it's normally open about half a turn or sort of that kind of position so what I'm going to do is, is just try and see how much airflow is actually coming through. So I'm going to turn the vacuum on. And just see how much. Because I reckon, if she's running on that, I reckon it would run on an air dryer. That's where air normally comes in, and I can have her running about there. So I'm going to try running her on a, an air dryer. And as you can see, that's just cobbled together and blowing into the inlet pipe. I'm afraid that it'll be a little bit noisy, but I'm going to try turning it on. and see what we can achieve. I'm only going to be able to run it for a second because the air dryer hasn't got a cool setting. It's only got um, it's got to have the heater on at the same time. It obviously works. I 
think it cuts out then. Well that's brilliant, I don't need the vacuum cleaner. All I need is a, a small fan. How about that? Okay then, um, I'm just going to try and balance up the valve gear. You might have been wondering why I've left this linkage um, quite so long. My idea was that I could put a balance weight on here to balance out the weight of the valves pulling down. And so because it's all temporary, hopefully, I was hoping that that should just pull off. See what I mean? The weight of the push rod, the weight of the two valves and the valve stem. So what I thought is that I could put a lead weight on there. That's about right by the looks of it, flipping heck. At least it's not dropping down now. Although that, that has got quite a bit of resistance on it, but I'll just slot the push rod on and we can give her a little run. Let's just move a little bit more past top dead centre. Air's just coming through. Oh, look at that. Valves out now for turn at that. I tried uh, on the air dryer, I don't know whether you've seen that clip. I connected a, an air dryer up because she's uh, just running on a whisper of air really. We've got a bit of a shake on the valve push rod. I don't know why that should be. So a lot of this is very much temporary at the moment. I think she's just a little bit out of line. Well, that's another 15 minutes gone. I'm quite happy to answer any questions, even complicated ones, as long as it's not rocket science. Can you believe it was 1,570 cc's? Mind, that's if I got my square pi right. That's more capacity than my 1300 van. And we can also start experimenting a little bit more with the air dryer or fan. So plenty to do. Hope you found it interesting and thank you for the subscriptions and thank you for watching.